Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Space Quest 5, the next mutation, where we are once again on janitor duty. As a punishment this time, it must be said, uh, but the four times saviour of the galaxy, Roger Wilco, is back to being a pretty crap janitor again. As always seems to be the way, doesn't it? Uh, so, we need to clean the floor as a bit of a punishment. Last time we died for doing it wrong, uh, but after I finished recording, there was one more thing I wanted to try, which was actually to see if we potentially needed to use um, these traffic cones that we got at the same time as the floor cleaner uh, to sort of mark off the area is my theory um, but whilst I'm on that actually a regular reminder about hints um, this isn't aimed at anyone in particular by the way uh, but I am aware of the fact that when I start new series quite often new people find the channel and they might not know my policy towards hints on a blind playthrough um, so I am very happy in particular, if I'm stuck on a puzzle for a long time, I'm not talking sort of five minutes, if I'm stuck for a whole episode on a puzzle, I'm very happy for you guys to leave me hints in the comments below. Just please make sure that they're quite vague and don't give me the solution if you're going to leave one, uh, because part of the fun of solving these puzzles for me is is working out the solutions with, your, with obviously, the help you guys give me as well. Um, so, by all means, leave a vacant if you think, you know, if I make clear that I'm very stuck as well. Um... Yeah, just, just be careful about how you're going to do it, I guess, is the only advice I've got. Because I know some people don't like it if people post the actual solution, which has happened in, in the past on the channel. So I'm talking a while back, but at times people have posted the exact thing I need to do. Um, and it, it sort of it taints the experience a little bit for me, because I like to figure out the puzzles. And also some people who want to watch a blind playthrough where someone doesn't know the answers and has to figure it out themselves. Um, but yeah, by all means, leave your, leave your hints. Just please make sure they're vague and, and stuff so that... It it doesn't ruin the experience for anyone. As I said, not actually aimed at anyone in particular, but I, I like to occasionally remind people just in case something goes wrong. Um, right, so we've got this here. Looks like I was right about the traffic cones. So let's set this thing back down um, and we will get back on this. Actually, I think I might save before we do it because last time uh, it seemed pretty chaotic, didn't it? So... Uh, let's save, and we'll call it, uh, I don't know, cones, I guess, and we'll go from there. So, let's jump onto this little cleaner thing, and hopefully now that these cones are out, maybe the guy won't come and shout at us and, you know, space us or whatever he did. Uh, so, here we go. There we go. How does this thing work? Well, we're going to find out. Hopefully we don't crash into the cones, because I imagine, knowing Space Quest games, that if we crash into the cones, then we are more than likely going to die. <laughs> How you die from crashing into a cup? Oh, God. The cones wobbling. Um, okay, we don't... Turns out we don't die if we hit the cones, but I imagine if we knock the cone over, there might be consequences. Right, where else haven't we cleaned? We cleaned the star in the middle. We've got to have cleaned everywhere now, right? Surely. We've got to have cleaned it all. Oh god, it's very difficult to control. I know I said that in the last one as well, but... I don't think... Have we cleaned, like, this top bit? <laughs> this is actually bizarre. Uh... How? What do we have to do? Do we have to keep it in the... I mean, the guy doesn't seem to be showing up this time to tell us off, so that, that, that's a plus, right? Do we just keep going? Oh! Okay, that went very fast there. Okay, do we have to do this out a bit as well? Is that, is that what's happening here, that we haven't cleaned the outer bit? Or do we just... You might have better luck if you tried using some cleaning supplies instead of just your bare hands. But that's what we're doing. Uh, I'm not really sure... <laughs> what's going on here? Do we, do we just click on ourselves? You tug at your clothing to achieve a slightly more comfortable fit. Uh, okay. Can we... You don't want to do that now. The crest is still dirty. Where's the dirt? I don't see any dirt. Oh, maybe I do actually. Oh yeah, there is. I can see it now. 
So I was just speeding around like an idiot, but there's actually clear dirt on the crest. Right, okay. You yeah, can see the darker bits on it now, look. Right, so we've missed a big patch down here. We don't want to crash into the cone. Oh! Okay, there's a big bit here. It seems like we definitely needed the cones though, right? Because the guy hasn't come back and told us off. It's the bits near the cone which are going to be really difficult. Maybe I was a little bit ambitious with the, the game speed. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay, I think we did it. It's all sparkly clean now. Alright, here. Someone else is with him this time. Check out this cleaning job. I told you I was the best janitor in the galaxy. As you can see, Ambassador Wankmeister, <laughs> we run a very tight ship here at the Academy. What a name. This institution is the pride of the Star Confederation, and one of the best of its kind in the known universe. It's nice to see our tax buckazoids aren't going completely to waste, Captain Quirk. Captain Quirk. Here we are, Miss Wankmeister. This is the main rotunda. It was dedicated on star date 09 209. I can't even read it. Ambassador? <laughs> that was too slow. <laughs> Excuse me, aren't you Roger Wilco, the man who foiled the Sarian some years back? Yeah, that's just one of the many things that we've done. Thank you. You won't believe the list of things we've actually achieved. Wait, could this be our wife? Remember, we saw our wife at the end of the last game, of course. Suddenly it all comes rushing back. It's her, the woman from the holodisc in Space Quest 4. Now is your big chance, Roger. Say something clever and romantic. Uh, uh, um, I mean, uh, yes. Way to sweep her back onto her feet, Rog. Nice to see you haven't lost your golden touch with women. So yeah, it is our wife. Interesting. Well, she's not our wife yet. But she, she is going to be our wife. Excuse me, Ambassador, but we should be heading to the conference now. You're not at all what I expected, Wilco. See you around. I don't think I don't think anyone <laughs> finds that Roger is <laughs> what they expected. Hold on a minute, cadet. <laughs> Looks like you missed the spot. <laughs> God, this guy is a piece of work, isn't he? Hopefully he gets his comeuppance. Uh, sir, you better watch your step. The floor's still really wet and just a little bit. Please slip. Please slip. Yes! <laughs> yes! Slippery. I mean, you deserve it, dude. I won't lie. Ha ha ha! Nice rug quirk. Is that a toupee or a roadkill? Ah, oh, oh, he's got a wig on. Nice. <laughs> you did that on purpose, Wilco. I'm placing you on double secret probation. One more screw up and your space cadet days are over. That's already happened to us several times, dude. We're not scared of that anymore. You'd think Roger would, you know, command a bit more respect with the amount that he's done. I mean, he's foiled Sludge Vohal twice, once during time travel. But no, apparently not. Uh, right. So, we, ma we managed to do that. So, let's save again. So, we managed to actually clean the floor. God knows where we go now. There's literally no clue that the game's given us, but that's just about right for Space Quest. Uh, cleaned up. So, yeah, that's our... Well, that's Roger Jr.'s mum. Eventually. Not yet. So, can we follow them up there? Or do, do we maybe go back now? We, I guess we still don't have clearance to go through to that far side, so... Security clearance alpha beyond this point. I, I don't think we have security clearance alpha, do we? Let's, let's try. No, we're not allowed past that point. Alright, okay. So, really the only place we can go is back into here. Uh, did... There we go. <laughs> sort of didn't quite click off the screen. Oh god, what's is that a little monkey or something? Is it a monkey? It's like a little rat monkey thing. Oh no. It's going into whatever that is. Grade Master 2000. Oh god, is it the scores? Oh, everyone's failing. Oh, oh, oh. Is it making us pass and everyone else fail? 
Did it die? <laughs> Sounded like it died. Oh no. Huh? What was that? Excuse me, Captain. You didn't raise your hand. <laughs> really? Now, as I was saying, Ambassador Wankmeister, we are a fairly remote installation, and I simply can't spare the ships to launch the kind of operation you suggest. Oh, there we are. I'm afraid you don't understand the potential ramifications of this problem, Admiral. I, I see us pacing around in the background somewhere. If the sludge bandits continue to illegally dump toxic waste whenever and wherever they choose, the environmental consequences could be staggering. Are they related to sludge foe or the sludge bandits? There we go again. Entire planets could be devastated. Let me guess, right, we're going to be the only one that the machine says past. If you think you overstate the issue, Ambassador, even so, we have more than enough ships on patrol to put a stop to these sludge bandits, as you call them. the window. Look, Ambassador, we have top-notch ships staffed with the finest crews in the galaxy. Starcon accepts only the best and brightest for fleet training, as you can see by the window behind. <laughs> you look, Rughead. Illegal dumping is going on in this sector right under your polyweave. Our patrols <laughs> have located dumping sites on four planets in the G6 quadrant alone. That <laughs> was sliding down the glass. Hey, this is made from real hair. Uh, <coughs> God. In any case, I'd like to hear more about these alleged dumping sites. Perhaps over dinner this evening. Of course, of course. I have already transmitted the coordinates to Starcon Central Command, along with a list of suspected sites that we haven't been able to check out yet. So this is the backstory then. Pretty cool. Well then, that sells it. Captain Quirk, you shall go to these sites and investigate Ambassador Wankmeister's allegations. Still can't get over the name. <laughs> Admiral, I'll be going along as an observer. I'm afraid that's impossible. Regulation strictly forbids civilian participation in military operations. Uh, Admiral, I think having the ambassador along would be a good idea. I'm sure the two of us could develop a productive working relationship. Yeah, sure. Sure, Quirk. Admiral, may I remind you that I am an official representative of the people of Quadrant G6 with full ambassadorial status and as such not subject to... Now, now, Ambassador, I'm sure Captain Quirk will do everything necessary to resolve the situation. There's no need for you to hinder him on this mission. This is my system and my people we're talking about here. I'm going on that ship and that's all there is to it. Case closed. We're adjourned. Good day, gentlemen. That's our wife talking there. Standing up to all these guys. Well done. No. <laughs> Oh great, the saviour of the universe in all his glory. Isn't there a mop somewhere with your name on it? That's not very nice. Besides, we know we're going to be the saviour of the universe again. It has to be. Way to go, Rog. Another sterling performance. <laughs> oh god, they're going to send us, aren't they? Yeah, I caught the jerk trying to sneak some answers off my test. I, actually, I stole all of the answers, dude. Shh, here he comes. This is awful. I totally biffed on my sat test. I'll never make captain now. We're the only one who passed, right? That's too bad, cadet. Sh- sh block sh block sh block <laughs> I love it, sh block <laughs> How'd you make out, Roger? I haven't seen my score yet. The sat scores for our class are posted on the bulletin board. Rog, I sure hope you made out better than I did. Well, thanks to that weird little creature. Uh, that looked a little bit like, is it a bush baby? It looked a little bit like that, didn't it? Uh, where's this this board? Is, is it this thing? Is this it? Doesn't look like it. Uh, is it up here? Is it like the thing on the wall? Is this it? Uh, no, it's just a panel. All right, maybe we have to go in, into the actual classroom then. What's all, what are all these people doing? Nobody seems to want to talk right now. Okay, do we just go, like, into the room? 
Maybe we do. The door is locked. Okay, no, we don't. Uh, unless it is that. Can, can we look at that? No, we can't. Okay. I mean, it looks like Schblock's not too against us, though, which is good. Most of the people seem to not like us, but Schblock seemed quite nice there. Um, is this it? The panel. No, it's a schematic. It's the bridge simulator. What was in this room? Oh, that's the closet. Okay. So where's this board, then? Because we're back where we were now. This is this thing. No. Okay. It's got to be around here somewhere, right? Where did Schblock say it was? I've already forgotten. I'm going to have to look between episodes, I think, because I obviously wasn't paying attention to that dialogue. Like, unless it's in here. Security clearance is too low to enter this room. No, it's not. All right, well, we're out of time anyway, guys. So when I edit this one up, I'll go back and look and see what Schblock actually said. But uh, we've made quite a bit of progress. We cleaned the floor. We managed to see the, a bit of the backstory. Something tells me that we're going to be the one member of the class who passed the test. And we'll probably get promoted to captain and sent off on this mission. Who knows? We will see, and I cannot wait to find out. So as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne, Nate, Terminally Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, and Lyle for all the support. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, make sure you subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you all next time.